This video is the second in a series where we look in a little more detail at some of the main functions of an operating system. In this particular video, we look at user management and file management. So modern operating systems allow for more than one user to log in to a single computer. And when they do, they have their own preferences and settings. So here in the illustration, we see the settings for one user, they've got a blue theme. And when another user logs on, you can see they've got a purple theme. Each user may also have different access rights to files and programs. And if you're in a client service situation, such as a school on a network, the network may impose a fixed or roaming profile for users and manage login requests. A fixed profile will ensure that every user has the same desktop and settings. And roaming profiles allow users to customize their settings. And when they log into different computers, those settings follow them. Data for computer systems are stored in files. And every file may have an extension, depending on the type of operating system and how it supports files. An extension, in this case, .pptx, tells the operating system which application to load the file into. So here it would choose PowerPoint as the target program. Over time, the hard disk becomes fragmented with files in the same way that we saw with memory. The operating system may present a logical structure of files into folders and allow the user to rename, delete, copy and move files. Now this presentation as shown here of files and folders is really for the user's benefit. It doesn't really exist like this on the actual secondary storage medium. <laughs> 